What's up, everybody? As Rodney just starts this out of fucking nowhere, I hope you have your news notes ready. I believe this is episode 85. We're normally a little more prepared, but Rodney said, fuck it. He's had a beer. I've never, yeah, I was going to say, I've never seen him act, you know, just off the wall like this. You get a couple beers into him. What? Well, it'd be funny if he turns into like a fucking, just like a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> I don't know where he's like, well, guys, he goes the opposite direction when he drinks a few. You don't got your uh, brewskis or stimulus twoskis? pad with you? Oh yeah, I do, but it's there's nothing on it. Oh, you didn't. You well, prepared? no, the pillow's on it. Is it not? Where's no, it at? No, it's over there on the floor. No, another dumb joke for your ass. Ooh, it's crack. Uh, okay, you so ready though? You got do we something? Want, do we want? Do we want some news? I, I'd hope so. This is the news episode. What else are we gonna give them? I don't know. What do you want to do? Dude, don't talk <laughs> to me about this. Okay, Stress so stress me out. We don't need this anymore. First thing we're gonna cover is. I love, 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 love the original love, Jumanji love, movie love, love, with love, Robin love. Williams. Okay. The original Jumanji movie is incredible. Mm -hmm. The new one with Jack Black and Kevin Hart and them, I was pleasantly surprised with how good it was. It was good. And I then, haven't seen the second one. The, the second one is still good. It's I not as good, it. but it's still good. It's a fun watch. A fourth one is on the way. Okay. So another same, Jumanji is going to be same actors, with same people. same actors, same people behind it and everything. The Rock so, just can't get out of that jungle. Dude, he just it's can't get out of Hollywood. Cruise. Period. Like yeah, whether it's via Cruise or via Jumanji. Yeah, there's there's no script, there's no Cue storyboard, no nothing drumbeats. about it yet. So it's it's just they're saying yes, it's still going to happen. Like that's that is a thing still. So if you're interested in Jumanji four, you I. I watch Next Level, the third one. It's actually pretty good. No, cool. I was like, what the fuck is Next Level? <laughs> <laughs> Taking it up a notch. I was like, yeah, well, I watch it on Next Level. I was like, I don't, is, that, is that like the new VR or something? I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah it's... I still got to watch that, that the next sequel level. to the... Se I don't even know. I guess that is the third one. The, yeah, it would, but I well, look, technically I look it would be the, the third second, one. Yeah. yeah. A little weird. So... Uh, Another thing, just real quick, is uh, the Suicide Squad failed miserably to perform at the box office, yeah. all because of this bullshit day and date release that they got going on. Where yeah, they I notice you've it. been calling that bullshit a lot lately. The thing is, is like it is amazing if you treat it right. Like you go see it at the theater. If you see it in theaters, and then, then watch it. And at then home. you have to option it. Yeah. But go see it at the fucking theaters, man. These it's are movies IMAX made for theaters. Thick. Oh my god, yeah. Theaters. It's the second time in a row you've ignored my handshake talking about <laughs> oh, suicide. Was, no. <laughs> I wanted to see if you'd fix it. Yeah, the other day I literally had to go like. <laughs> no idea what you're talking. We'll about. work on. It. I'll I'll sneak it in again on a soon to be episode. But, I mean, and to add to that though, Warner Brothers did assure us though that as of 2022 there will be a 45 day window for movies to be in theaters before they hit streaming. So streaming as in their I like that. HBO Max. There's a bunch so, of people that are watching this right now. They're like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? I got to go to the theater now? Well, that's, yeah, that's do, how we bitch. get the sequels, and that's how we get like the bigger movies out there. Like We can't have any more Suicide Squads or Justice what? Leagues or anything like that if people don't go to the movies to see and them. And it, it only helps movies, I think, like Mortal Kombat, too, because they're going to have to even they, more so take into the HBO there Max There are numbers. small talks of the second Mortal Kombat just being a straight to HBO Max. Hmm. Like a production, a, a Warner Brothers, you know, producing Fuck it, that movie noise. quality. It be but the theater. Yeah, I don't think, dude, it, did, it underperformed so bad. In the theaters, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just but it the th th that's day. my point. Every, yeah, I got it too now. Everything is just about, or it's good for a week and then it's gone. Uh, what What is it in comparison to all these movies? I feel like it what made, like all the movies that have been coming out in this new. Oh, era they've been doing come, awful in the box. Yeah. Office. So what they makes you think? Why would Mortal Kombat not do well? I feel like Mortal Kombat did really well. Well, you also got to think these are all movies that are already been produced and made, which means money's already been thrown. So. Honestly, it, with this day and date release, that means budgets are going to be smaller, which think not about, big spectacles. Think about all the movies we've seen, dude. I feel like Mortal Kombat was one of the bigger audiences we've been in. If I didn't think about it, Black Widow was big. no Space Jam was the biggest. I think so. That was yeah. a that was a packed theater. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying it's the biggest, go. but yeah, I would say I'm it was probably of, top three. One though. of the biggest. It's yeah. right there, dude. People. Yeah, I'm trying to. 
that's what that's my whole point of this is in comparison to what everything's been doing you got to weigh that as an option it's not like they're gonna look at suicide squad and be like oh yeah but what's going on and then they're gonna look at mortal Kombat. it's like oh it did better than all these movies and not weigh that in as well so i think mortal Kombat honestly did great all things considered we got good audience scores critically it didn't do so well no I don't think it was like a bus critically. Wasn't it like 50 something or low? Like, yeah, 53, 54. It's not right horrible. In the middle. It's not great, but for a Mortal Kombat movie, I mean, come on, that's not bad. A video game movie in general, that's not a bad score. Mm. Could have been better. But. Speak for yourself. Anyway, so another thing AMC theaters are raising their prices. So the ticket prices are going up fifty cents, and concession is going but up. Ain't nobody going to see y'all. Y'all just going to HBO Max. This is not. That's the time what for I'm this. trying to say. It makes no sense why this is the time. If anything, lower your prices fifty cents and lower the concession stand because they they're, they're raising they, the concession stands too. Yeah, I just pieced that together. I was like, it's he did say it, didn't he? Huh? They're already too high. I know it. It's ridiculous what you pay a concession. This is painful to hear. But, but yeah, so another 50 cents tacked on, and it's just going to... For everybody, even them A-list members out there? Well, no, because, you know, we're free. So we get to watch the movies free. Free is this country real loud, buddy. That's right. Amen. So, yeah, I don't know how... I mean, I know you don't go too much to the movies. You go when you can. So, I mean, it's... I go, like, every week. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you do. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I guess. There was a couple weeks in a row I missed. One, because I had to do something. Two, was... Uh, that's usually why. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, but, like, I mean, I literally had to do so. It wasn't like, I don't really feel like feel, seeing this movie. And the second time was I literally had, like, two movies to review already. So I was like, I don't care about this movie as much. But, yeah. What else we got? So, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll tie both these in together because they're both comic book related. Uh, Venom 2 Venom Let There Be Carnage Got moved Three weeks You were talking about that earlier At the movies So Yeah back. Yeah and So instead of September 24th It is now releasing Which this is crazy It's releasing the same day As Halloween Kills That's October 15th I Definitely I'd, not seeing The second Venom that day <laughs> <laughs> Well I'm, I'm gonna go see both I know you are, but there's no doubt in my mind what I'm seeing. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do Venom early, IMAX, and then go to Halloween with you later. Oh, dude, I'm about to. Uh. But I don't know if I don't know my if IMAX is if IMAX is playing Halloween. Cause I'd love to see that it in IMAX. Better fucking do it. Well, if Venom's playing, it won't because Venom's gonna trump. Halloween IMAX was. Now, why'd you bring Trump into this? <laughs> uh, Venom. Can go fuck itself now with this news. Fuck that noise. Halloween, dude. Jesus. I mean, come on, think about it. Big special effects in Venom or Michael Myers swinging a knife? What fits I, more in IMAX? Because of my taste, Halloween. I don't think that the first Venom was all that great. So I, I, I'm more no, hyped for. I don't Halloween. think it's the shit show a lot of people let on, but I liked it. But. Yeah, and then uh, to go along with the comic book aspect of it, Shang Chi is Hell gonna yeah. stay theatrical. It is not getting the day and day release. Treatment I love movies going that do to Disney. That. It kind of hurts because I can't watch it after if I like have somebody over and they want to see it. Yeah, but it ensures that you gotta go. Well, Marvel movies I usually end up seeing probably it's it I usually see them about three times in IMAX because I see it the opening night so and then I see Rodney. it I see it well. You Not just, for me. You just dump money into that. But I see, I'll see. i see it on the day it opens in IMAX, and then I'll see the next day or that weekend, I'll see it with Jamie and the kids. And then the next weekend, usually I'll see it with my parents. So Yeah, well, you got a lot of people to go to. You're predicting to, right? what happens to your parents, and they're like, how'd you know that? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm it's, excited for Shang-Chi, though. I did Dude, see Shang Logan. That'll, be the, next, that'll the be the next one. Next movie I'll be going with you on. Yeah, we can. Uh, the, I'll let y'all know when the tickets go on sale. They're not but ready to pre-order yet. Then why would I give you money? Or, oh. no, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, you caught that. Oh, man. Uh, you just brought up Logan. We need to review Logan. So, 
Man. Yeah, we, somebody asked a we question. We do. I'm just not ready to toss out yet another retarded score. Somebody, yeah, no shit. Somebody <laughs> asked a question that was a pretty solid question. Where? Where? Today. Huh? Just in your on personal a, life? No, or? on a show that I watch on YouTube. Oh. And uh, dude, who do you think had the more emotional Britney death? Spears. Was it Logan or Tony Stark? Logan by fucking mouth. That, I say Logan, but mm. if you think about it, Tony Stark's was pretty fucking solid. Honestly, when I watched Tony Stark die, I was like, hell yeah, man, way to go out. And I can get <laughs> how it would affect like huge you know, Marvel heads. Yeah, you've been with him for 10 years. But <laughs> Logan, for me, was like, oh my God, I'm about to cry my eyes out. It was so sad. When he's yeah. like, this is what it feels like. Well, I was the like, point- oh, and dude, when she took the cross... And turned it over oh, and made yeah, it an X. X. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, that that's perfection. Yeah, it's it, it also, I the point go got brought up that, that Logan's yeah. was also better because Marvel, oh, nobody God. really dies in the MCU. You know what oh I'm saying? Like, they, say, they somehow bring them well, back. Tony Stark did. <laughs> yeah, well, so did yeah, Natasha, but then they had a standalone movie for yeah, her, you know? But we knew with Logan, God. like, that was it, like... Because at that time, Hugh Jackman was putting down the role because he had skin cancer. So he couldn't be <clears throat> putting that much pressure. And he has gone on record saying he hated the workout regimen. Like, well, hated I having to work that. out and eat like that. But he did it for 20 fucking years. Like, I'd be tired of it, too. I'd just be like, Luke, let me just chill. Just kill me? I, I thought you meant because of skin cancer. <laughs> I misread that. Yeah, dude. I, I don't even want to go in just yet to how perfect Logan is. But, yeah, that, Logan's so good. Amazing ending. I saw that movie three times. In you theaters. saw it with me once. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I remember telling around. you, I was like, we're going to see it. And you're like, I've already seen it. I was like, oh, well, damn. You're like, I love it, though. I'll go see it again. <laughs> yeah. What movie have y'all seen the most in theaters? I think three I is like my max on any movie. Oh, really? Yeah, but like I've got a... Rodney's about to blow our fucking <laughs> I've mind. I've got a handful. <laughs> For instance, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I saw three times in theaters as well. Those are the two most recent. Why? Ad- why not? Are you fucking ten movies? Ten the problem, perfection. the only problem I have with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is I think it's like two hours and forty five minutes too long. So it's the whole movie. Yeah, I think I I want the director's cut where I get like forty more <laughs> minutes. It's a, it's such a fucking amazing, perfectly well written, take you to that time period love letter to cinema. That's just the only way I can describe it. Uh, I don't know if I've seen any movie twice in theater. Like I don't go to the movies like. Oh, that. here's a terrible movie I saw three times in theaters. Shout out to Adam Marcus, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. <clears throat> I saw that movie three times in theaters because I saw it with some buddies, and then I took a date because I was like, let's go fucking see this fucking scary movie. Get a chick to go see a scary movie, and then I saw it a third time with uh, maybe Travis Dick. No, no, no. I think it was RJ. He like he's like, yeah, let's go watch that. And I was like, yeah, it's down the street. And then we hung out with Travis Dick afterwards. <laughs> That's why I got him mixed in. Yeah, I saw it three times. And the first time I saw it, I was like, this is pretty good. And like, because I had all like those like high school kids in there that were like, oh, and it was kind of like building the atmosphere. But they weren't like being rude. They were like just Legit. freaking out. You know what I mean? So it made me kind of freak out more. And I saw it a second time. I was like, this really isn't that good, is it? <laughs> and I saw it a third time, and I was like, this movie's kind of ass. It's not just not good. This is a bad movie. This is just not good at all. So, yeah, that's probably like, that's another way to rephrase the question. What's a movie you don't like that you saw the most? And that, that'd probably be mine if I had to say. That's a good one. A movie that you don't like that you've seen. Yeah. And I think it's because, like, I'm such a Texas Chainsaw Massacre whore. Even if I don't like the movie, I'll force myself to go back because I'm like, I've got to like this. I love Leatherface. But, yeah, it it just. Which one's 3D? The one where. It's the one with Trey Songs, and they're, like, on the. Like farm. Where they switch, they make you think Leatherface the, was one guy, and then it he was a good guy. No, no, that's another one. That's ca- actually called Leatherface. Three D. His sister's involved in this. They got one. Trey songs, and the one girl, Alexandra Dardario. 
Okay, yeah. She goes there and she finds yeah. out that's her cousin. Yep. At the very end, she tosses him the chainsaw and she's like, "Do your thing, cuz." Yeah. It's like the worst line in movie history. But she's came out yep. and said she hated that line. But I wonder if that's just I've seen a lot of backlash. So I'm gonna just act like I hate that line too. Yeah, that movies. Yeah, not good. Any other news, sir? Oh no, that's it. Really? Yeah, that's it. Shit, I might even went on longer with that if I don't know it's gonna be that short. But it's all good though. As you know, we've kind of remodeled our news episode. That's why we haven't had it the last couple weeks. We are now doing no trailers. Yes, I'd love to do trailers. We so love many to do are trailers, coming out, though. But they're coming out a mile a minute, and we cannot fucking get away from YouTube putting copyright claims. Like, if we do five trailers, at least two of them are copyright claim. And I'm like, motherfucker, dude, fair use. We are reviewing it and reacting to it. That is in the rules. They don't care about that. YouTube says fuck you. And we also say fuck you to the people that won't let us fucking do That's what we're supposed to do. Maybe we're not important enough yet. Maybe that's it. But still, dude, why are you making my life such a hassle? We ain't hurting you. We're promoting your content. We're not claiming it's ours. So guess what? You win. We're not doing trailers anymore. And now instead of doing reviews on the back end, you get those in knee-jerk reaction reviews, more content, more videos. So, yeah, these will probably be a little shorter from here on out. But we, uh, we as always, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. There's there's honestly been times, too, like there's been weeks where I've had to, and I've even called you sometimes because you and me have to figure out which trailers are of the utmost importance. Yeah. Because I've had, like, Anywhere from 12 to 15 trailers for us to watch. No, I'm like, dude, and me and Brandon like, cut it down to like seven I'm or eight. I'm still fighting off copyrights from like, because it takes like sometimes like eight hours or something crazy to edit a trailer out, to trim it. And I don't really have to do anything. I just got to state my case and I got to wait for that case to come back. And then if it's rejected, then I got to fucking click a button. And it's just clicking a button, but my computer's on the spinny thing for like up to eight hours waiting for it to be deleted and it's just a fucking hassle especially as busy as i am yeah but unfortunately we had to cut that out but oh well quicker news episodes and then you have quicker uh review episodes you don't have to wait till all the way on wednesday you can get them basically the night of so yeah hell yeah it's Good a shit. late night early morning of yeah we were supposed to do uh don't breathe review early on this night that we were recording it it doesn't look like that's gonna happen now <laughs> but drop yeah. it on saturday that eh, is what it is early morning mm. uh and Word. what else did you see rodney i uh, saw tonight i saw well i saw free guy at 325 and then don't breathe two at six or 555 mm-hmm. so you're gonna i'll be giving my those? knee-jerk review on both yeah sweet Yep. Knee jerk reaction. That's right. Be on the lookout. Non spoilers too, so they're gonna be real short. Yeah. I Quick. almost feel like we have to do spoilers for Don't Breathe though. I might hit him with a spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't think so. There's there's a couple twists and shit that. No, that's what I'm saying. We can talk around it and then bounce it. But yeah, the, by the time they see this, it'll already be out. No reason yeah. to talk about it now. Let's Good deal. Wrap it up real quick. Okay. Follow us at the official box office banner on Spotify and Instagram. Follow us at box office banner on YouTube. Box office banner on Facebook. That's more of our business page and where we you first get our episodes. And then of course box office banner movies, which is a group about movies, but also box office banner. We post our shit there. Love y'all. Goodbye. Love you.